Texas cast here. Officials in Jay County, they're assessing the damage after yesterday's tornado. This is drone video from the Portland Police Department. It shows there's quite a lot to go through. Now you can see many farm buildings are destroyed and wood splinters surrounding each building. County officials are not reporting any injuries from the storms, though. According to the National Weather Service, the tornado occurred just after 4 p.m. and had an EF rating of 2. Well, storms hit the southern portion of the state pretty hard last night as well, especially in Bloomington, where the city is dealing with a lot of flooding. These images are from the Bloomington Fire Department. You can see um, water filling the streets and even some stairwells there. You can also see a car that was left on top of a parking barrier and two other cars trying to drive through flood waters almost up to their headlights. Well, an Eastside warehouse has collapsed. This is video from the Pepsi warehouse on South Post Road. You can see a large section of the warehouse where the building caved in. It's unclear if the building collapse was a result of last night's severe weather or if the warehouse closed for the day because of the collapse. Well, thousands throughout Indiana still without power right now due to those storms last night. Duke Energy covers much of the state, and it reported that 16,000 customers still without power tonight. AES in the Indy metro area says just 165 customers are still without power. That's quite a significant improvement uh, over this morning when there were more than 2,500 customers who were still in the dark. Now, both companies say that they are working around the clock in order to restore power.